Hello, this is Deepak Kirbakran with the Vice Serviceability Engineering Team. This video demonstrates how to customize metadata variables in Interaction Center. The term metadata refers to data about data. What this really means is it describes the content, quality, condition, and other characteristics about data. In other words, it describes the why, what, when, where, and how of any data in an application. Metadata can be broadly categorized into structural metadata and descriptive metadata. The structural metadata defines the structure, whereas the descriptive metadata describes the definition for any administrative tasks or any content. In the case of a Y interaction center, the term metadata refers to the descriptive metadata which describes the content definition, condition layouts, etc. This allows the customization of flows, chat, IV chat, security, same time, enabling languages, localization, etc. So metadata variables in Interaction Center can be accessed in two ways. The first way is to access via the website multi-tenant administration. So we can directly browse through the website multi-tenant administration page. The next method is to select the URL for direct metadata access. The URL is listed below. You have a direct URL for accessing the metadata and to add a new metadata or to modify metadata. In this demonstration, we will see how to access the metadata pages in Interaction Center, how to customize tenant properties for website, and see a scenario where this could be applied. So this is the desktop where my Interaction Center website is installed. As you can see here, this is my AS, and you can see here that the website has been hosted. So this is my Internet Explorer page, which is open my desktop. So in order to access the metadata variables, I type in the following URL. This is the host name of the server. Type in admin, type in website, slash admin, slash, slash tenancy, slash view md dot jsp. So we can see here that the metadata variables for website is being displayed here. So we can choose each of those metadata variables and we can customize those properties. For example, I click on chat. So we can update the metadata variables for chat here. We can get a chat acknowledgement and you, the current value is sending chat, chat requests. Someone will be there with you shortly. So we can change that to something else. So similarly, you can see here all the different attributes for chat where you can customize the sounds, we can customize the images, the fonts, the colors. We also customize the layout of the chat. And when you click on email, the same holds good for email. So you have a lot of different parameters for email. And uh, we can have an e email acknowledgement, we can have an email description, uh, escalate template, and email questions by default. So all these are the different metadata definitions for the email. And we can customize the same as per your organization's needs. Similarly, the flows can be customized. These are the custom flows. If you want to add a customer, if you want to delete the customer, all those flows can be customized using this metadata entries. From a security standpoint, we can still set up a different security levels. As we can see here, the tenant is default tenant. So these all metadata variables are pertaining to the default tenant. So security.callback has got a current value of guest, which means that the security level for accessing callback is from a guest privilege. Now, if you want to add a metadata variable, this is the URL which says viewmd.jsp. So instead of viewmd.jsp, we need to type in addmd.jsp. So this should give you the metadata variable which you need to enter. Uh, the default 
value the description so if you have identified some metadata variables which needs to be changed you can just copy from the existing view md.jsp entries and you can just put it over here and click on add metadata that would add those metadata variables to the tenant now another way of accessing the metadata variables is through the website administration screen website admin slash index.jsp so if you really want to uh, customize the metadata you need to go to the multi-tenant administration so that is the last service under the selector service option you click on that so this will open up with a web page and under the tenant admin you need to click on the tenant properties so it asks you to select a uh, different tenants so in this case I have a default tenant so my entries would be pertaining to the default tenant click on customize tenant and you can see here that the same page which you saw in the view md.jsp gets displayed over here so exactly the same kind of an entries and you can update those data over here as well similarly as in the tenant properties you also have enable languages option where you can customize the tenant languages you click on define languages we can define uh, the language as per your choice so we can see here the default language is English but similarly you can specify a language code and the language region and the language text as per your choice and uh, which is actually specified on the metadata descriptions and you can uh, update those entries so if you can click on enable languages default language applicable for the default tenant gets displayed over here so under the defined languages you define those languages which you need to select or which you need to use against your tenant and under the enable languages you just need to check that it is enabled which means that that would be your default language in this case English is enabled and that is the default language for this particular tenant similarly you have the user properties so generally the user properties would be email address of the user the first name the last name the password field so all those attributes can be changed so in this case the password is set to true if it is set to false it will not ask you for the user password as an example let us quickly do a small customization for reference in chat so let me quickly open up the chat page so instead of admin you type in website public to access the chat page click on chat and click on next so suppose I want to customize this page initiating call please wait someone will be there with you shortly or I go with the multi tenant administration page and quickly over, go over there so you select this website multi tenant administration here I click on tenant properties customize tenant for the default tenant click on chat I go ahead and change this parameter chat.phrases.initiate call so I say I remove this and I enter initiate chat one of of the Avaya representatives would be assisting you shortly and suppose I want to use a survey in the end of the chat so I go to the survey parameter here I click on survey here once the agent closes the chat if we really want a survey to be enabled I need to select one else it must be zero and these are the survey questions I can customize the survey questions so for example I can just type in excellent here for the survey question 3 and for the survey question 2 do you expect a faster response 
for the question number one was agent code twist and helpful I'm just trying to modify this so the questions can be customized uh, now in this case I update the data so this is the web page for chat which is open in my desktop I click on chat click on next this opens up with a chat initiation page okay we can see here that the chat initiate phrase for metadata is being uh, is reflecting the customized value initiating call please wait one of our wire representatives will be with you shortly so this is something which we have customized and also the system initiate variable welcome to avoid chat your favorites chat so this is also a customized variable let us accept this chat the web agent which is open in my desktop let me open this so we can see here an agent will be with you shortly welcome to avoid chat your favorite chat so let's say hi we can see that the chat from the agent is being displayed over here. Let me end the chat session here. I can see here that the moment we entered the chat session, the customer survey pop-up is getting displayed. And we can see the variables which we have customized. This is something which we have customized. Did you get useful information? We have customized it as excellent. So it shows exactly the same. So we have disposed this particular chat by giving a feedback and that survey questions were actually enabled from the metadata. And we have seen that the metadata variables were as per the customization which we have applied. This completes our demonstration. Thank you for your time today. We hope this information was useful to you. We welcome your comments, questions and feedback at mentoratawai.com or at Avai Mentor on Twitter. For more details and other technical information, please visit support.avai.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.